you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, according to the curses of Deuteronomy 28. What I want to go into today is show that Christ does have a color and that Christ is, according to the Bible, a black man. He is not a white man as the Christian church teaches and has deceived the whole world to follow after the image that the Bible calls the image of the beast. But he is indeed a black man. <clears throat> I want to read out of Jeremiah in the King James Version of which King James himself was a black man. And I want to read chapter 14, verse 2. It reads as follows. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They, Judah, are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem has is gone up. I had to learn this myself, but the word Jew comes from the word Judah. And the white people in Israel right now claiming to be the Jews say they are Jewish. Ish, the suffix ish means of or pertaining to, similar to. They wish they were the Jews, but they know that they are not the real Jews. I also want to go uh, to Hebrews, and we could we could do this all day long, showing that Christ is a black man and not a white man and not a chameleon, as the Christian church, uh, the modern day Christianity as call they they as, as soon as you prove that he's black they say well he's he's invisible or he can change to whatever color he wants to be Christ had a body and Christ had a color Christ came from the tribe of Judah in Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 it says for it is evident that our lord sprang out of Judah of which no tribe Moses spake, excuse me, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So it is evident that Christ sprang from the tribe of Judah. Judah is the strongest tribe. It is the head tribe of all Israel. So of course, Christ would spring out of the tribe of Judah through the lineage of David. And David's lineage uh, did, does not come forward to Mary. Christ had a earthly father as well. David's lineage uh, go, comes forward to Joseph. So Joseph was Christ's earthly father. But just like they try to tear the black family apart, um, today, they try to do the same thing in the Bible. They try to separate the man from the woman. And they've done the same thing with Christ's earthly family, with his mother and his father. Now I want to go to uh, Revelation chapter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 14. First of all, the book of Revelation, the root word is to reveal. So Christ is about to be revealed. Why is he about to be revealed? Because God knew that in the end times of which we are in, that should be obvious, that my people, the powers that be, would come up with a white image and that they would convince the entire world that he is the image of Christ. 
when he is not. But I'm going to start at verse 14. Revelation 1, chapter, chapter, excuse me, Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. It says, his head, in other words, the hair on his head and his hairs, his beard, were white. So Christ was fully gray. He was white-headed. And then it gives you the texture, like wool. There's only one nationality of people on the face of the earth that have woolly hair. It says that, it says that his hair was white like wool, as white as snow, fully gray. It says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drank wine in moderation. If you go back and you read concerning, it says, it says when Shiloh comes, which Shiloh is Christ, it says that his eyes would be red with wine in Genesis, I believe 49, chapter 49, verse 12. It tells you. So no, Christ was not shooting laser beams out of his eyes. Christ did not have literal flames in his eyes. Christ drank wine. And when black people drink wine, their eyes turn red. The whites of their eyes turn red. It says, uh, verse 15, it says, And his feet like unto fine brass. Brass is brown. As if they burned in a furnace. If you want to see what color brass turns when you put it in a furnace, Go on Google and look it up. It gets very dark. So Christ was a very dark-skinned black man with white woolly hair and red eyes because Christ drank wine in moderation, not to get drunk. It says, and his voice as the sound of many waters, letting you know that Christ spoke loudly. Christ was a very austere man. Christ was not the punk that they have portrayed him to be in all of these movies, the effeminate um, image that they, that they have given us. That's not how Christ acted. And just in case you want to get simple and say that this image uh, is not the, not literally how Christ looked, Let's, let's read, let's read Revelation chapter, Revelation 1 and start at verse 10 because John the Revelator saw Christ when Christ was on the earth as a man. So he knew what Christ looked like. Revelation chapter 1 verse 10. This is John the Revelator who saw Christ speaking. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet, loud, saying, and this is Christ speaking, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. What thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamos and unto Thyatira, Thyatira and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Then John says, and I turned, so John turned around to see the voice that spake with me. So he turned to see who was speaking to him. He turned to look at him. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the candles of the seven candlesticks, let's see what he saw. One like unto the Son of Man. Christ is the Son of Man because Christ came through the seed of man, through the lineage of David. Christ had an earthly father. He was not immaculately conceived. That is nonsense. So John who had seen Christ when Christ walked the earth as a man, he turned to see the voice that spoke with him, and he saw someone that looked like Christ. So obviously he recognized him as Christ. 
So this is not a different version of Christ, a different looking image of Christ. It is still Christ. And there are many other verses that you can go to. The, the fact that uh, you go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1, it tells you uh, that Moses is speaking to the, to the Israelites. Then, then you read, then you read that, uh, the Israelites went into slavery on cargo slave ships. Who are the people that went into slavery on cargo slave ships? The so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called Native Americans. One of those tribes is the tribe of Judah, the American blacks. So to say that Christ is white when he is clearly black is, is nonsense. This is just, this is just deception by my people and, and lies to hide because, because they know how important it is. They, they know how important the, the real Jews are and they have done everything that they can to hide their identity from them and to cut them off from being a nation. So with that, I, I see that my video is getting long. Uh, I may not even be able to upload this. I may have to redo this. Hopefully not. But with this, I'm going to, I'm going to end the video and I'm going to say shalom and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Israel, it's time to repent.